I often get asked the question then if you believe that founders should always be raising capital, I call it ABR, always be raising, how much time should you dedicate to fundraising? And I like to say, create a pie chart and think about your time as a pie chart. A certain amount of your time has to go to product management. A certain amount of your time has to go to recruiting. A certain amount of time has to go to financial planning. A certain amount to marketing and to sales and to every other part of your business function. I don't know what the exact right percentage is because it'll be different at different stages of a company, but let's call it a mythical 18%. I don't know, it's almost a day a week. And sometimes it might be three days in one week and zero in the next, but you should always be raising, always be building new top end of your funnel relationships that you didn't have before that might come in handy two years from now. And for the people you have met, keeping those touch points and moving them down the funnel of knowing and understanding you better means that when you are fundraising, you're gonna have more success. And I don't just tell people this, I practice it. So venture capitalists, we raise money every three years. Right after I close a fund, and we just closed the fund a year ago, I still keep taking meetings with LPs because my view is I can't go to an LP that's only ever met me once or twice and say, can you give me $40 million, please? Life doesn't work like that. So I put myself out there continually making relationships, building on those relationships, assuming that one day they're gonna pay off. And for me, across more than 20 years of my career in this industry, all of those relationships have massively paid off. So that's what I encourage you to do.